Hey, so I wanted to make this video, tell this story because A, it's kind of funny, but also was such a nightmare that I wanted to share the story. But also, if anyone else has a similar issue, I can kind of say how I fixed it and recommend what to do. So someone might get something out of it, besides from being entertained. Um, so this all started, I think it was about a year ago, where I got, I, I woke up with some bites on my, I think it was my legs and, and stomach. Um, I initially obviously thought it was mosquitoes, so I didn't do anything about it. But what I noticed over the coming week was that these bites are way worse than mosquito bites. Like mosquito bites are annoying for like a day and then they go away, but these were incredibly itchy um, and were there for up to a week. You could even still see them, you know, a couple of weeks later. So these bites were different. And what I noticed was that I was getting them on my legs uh, at night only. So if I, you know, had a nap during the day, I wouldn't get any bites, but it was always at night and it was on my legs, which were under covers. So that suggested to me that it wasn't mosquitoes so something was going on. And they kept happening and happening. So this sent me a little bit crazy and I was um, crazily sort of vacuuming the floor uh, and I was Googling all this stuff and eventually it just hit me. I was like, okay, bed bugs, is this, can this even be a thing? Because I mean, I'm pretty clean. I don't have foreign journeys to weird countries or hang out in, in you know, trash piles or anything, but Apparently bed bugs strike anyone, even clean. So yeah, so I was like, hey, maybe it's bed bugs. So I Googled it and found out that it basically it has to be because the, the bites were so similar. There is these little sort of red dots that occur in, in sort of a line. So it's like the bug just bites you and then bites again and bites again. They're always in this little line. Um, so yeah, and from there I Basically, I went to, I think, Bunnings and bought some bud, bed bug uh, spray and I be emptied a whole bottle of this stuff into this room and just shut it, shut the room up for like a day. Um, didn't do anything, kept getting bitten. Um, I was vacuuming and, and checking everything and, and I mean, I can't even explain to you what it does to your head to, to think of this, this creature that that lives off you and comes and attacks you during the night. And it, I mean, it doesn't seem that bad explaining it now, but to go through it is pretty, pretty crazy. It does some crazy things to your head. I mean, any, any time I would walk into the room, I'd start itching and I'd get all, I'd think bugs were everywhere and stuff like I was crazy. Um, and whenever I was lying, I was lying in bed and I was like, anytime I'd feel something, I'd quickly get up and put my, the torch on my phone on and check to see if it was the bed bug. And I mean, this, this was ages of, of me doing this. And eventually I was like, I cannot beat this thing. I can't find it. I couldn't even find any evidence of it because sometimes they leave like blood trails or you can at least see something. It just seemed like to me, it was a single bug, just one bug getting me every fucking night. So I eventually called a bug guy. Uh, he came over and saturated the carpets of basically the whole house. They were so wet with this crazy chemical that I left it for a day. And what was strange was when, whenever I would do things like I would spray or use something chemical or like what he did, the, the bug would actually disappear for, um, for about, I don't know, in some cases a day. When I did the crazy carpet spray thing with the, bed, the bug guy, it, it disappeared, I think, for a week or, or two or three weeks, maybe. Um, so this bug was smart, and it, it it seemed to just hide whenever whenever we did anything, and then it came out when whatever chemicals it was wore off. So, you know, I'd be like, oh, it's gone. A couple of weeks later, the bites come back. Eventually, I just threw out my mattress. I was like, it's very likely that it's in my mattress. So it was, it was curbside collection that day, so I just chucked my mattress on the side of the road, and I was like, this, I'm done. That's the end of it. And I bought a, um, I bought a blow up mattress cause I didn't want to invest in a mattress just in case it came back. So I was sleeping in my lounge room. I was, I didn't want to sleep in this room, drive me crazy. So I was sleeping in my lounge room, whenever I'd sleep in my lounge room, it wouldn't happen. So I was like, okay, it has to be in this room. And then that was when it got, it got wild because it felt, it felt like a war. It felt like I was sitting in the lounge room 
I was sort of cordoned off in the lounge room and the furniture was moved around and there was like this barrier between me and the room and this room. And I was sleeping on this bed, camping out in my trench and the the uh, bed bug had this room and it was like this war between us, me trying to get this fucking bug. And um, eventually we, what happened? I was sleeping in the lounge room for a while and I think I, yeah, the, um, the mattress, the air mattress I was using, I think I put it back on the frame and it got a hole in it and I was getting, I was still getting bites. So I, I threw that out, got another air mattress, a much more expensive one and was sleeping on that. Then I was like, I can't do this anymore. So I got the, the bug guy back out. He set off some kind of smoke dust bomb thing. That's like a gray something or whatever chemical. It's a pretty serious stuff to destroy everything in the house. He set that off. I left I left the place basically shut up for a day. Um, then I put the mattress, the air mattress back on the frame. And, you know, he, he obviously sprayed the frame. We were spraying the frame and all that. And put it back on the frame and it disappeared for a good six months. And I was like, okay, finally, we got this fucking bug. Um, and then I got i i packed up the air mattress and i was like okay it's finally okay for me to buy a mattress so bought a mattress got it home bug started attacking again this time the the bites were huge they were way bigger and, and i remember googling it and they're like well as the bug grows uh the bites get bigger it's only the little ones that have the tiny bites and i was like i was trying to figure it out and by process of sort of deduction it makes sense that it was in the frame um, because that that airbed that I used was very tight against the frame and for the six months I was using it, I didn't get stung. So it must have covered up the hole or whatever it was it was getting through on that frame because it was a metal frame and it was hollow. Um, I mean, I tried taping up the frame. I tried, we tried spraying the frame, but it just must have been able to hide in it because it's quite narrow and long. So then I finally threw out the frame and then it was over. So the fucking bug the whole time was in the, the frame and we just couldn't spray it because we couldn't get into there, you know, far enough. And I mean, the thing, it cost me probably about a thousand bucks all up. If you think of the original mattress, it was a good mattress that I threw out. Probably more than a thousand, maybe up to like $1,200, this stupid bug. Because I threw out that original mattress um, bought all the air mattresses and bought a new mattress and threw out my frame, which I still have to get a new one. Um, yeah, so probably about $1,200 to, to destroy this bug. So my recommendation is if this ever happens to someone else, immediately just throw out the bed frame and the mattress because the, the bloody thing is in probably in there. Thanks, guys.